Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you a busted Vi build that is taking over the meta. It is currently the second most picked build at the highest win rate of 62% win rate. And that is Rushdown Kempunk Chainsword into a tank mythic, which is Radiant Virtue. Why is this so strong? Radiant Virtue and Kempunk Chainsword are both extremely inexpensive in comparison to other item options. So you can get them nice and early. They both give a lot of ability haste. Kempunk Chainsword is basically just AD and uh, Ability Haste, HP, Heal Cut, plays nicely with Vi. And then the Radiant Virtue heals the crap out of you and your teammates based off of your maximum HP. And it also gives your teammates a lower cooldowns around you. This item is being slept on heavily, and right now its win rate is pretty nutty. They're going to have to make it more expensive or definitely nerf it because it's too good. After Kempunk Chainsword into Radiant Virtue, then we're going to be looking for a Black Cleaver. You want to start W for the attack speed on every third auto. It does some burst damage and uh, gives you four more seconds of attack speed. Plus it shreds armor, which is kind of cool. See how it has 16 armor instead of 20 because it wipes 20%. We got a pretty good leash. No reason to smite this. Gromp hadn't even spawned in yet. Why's W star is pretty good. Auto E auto. Fast way to get your W back up. Now we're going to wait for passive. Before we use another ability, because I want that sweet shield. The shield is what allows Vi to clear so healthy. You can full clear on her 325. Or you can look to do a 3 to 5 camp clear into gank. Just depends. You never want to gank if you don't think it's going to be a kill, because Vi has some good ganks. Wasting time on a gank where, oh, I might get their flash. Waste of time in a solo queue environment. Exposing yourself on the map for a flash is not worth you have to be in pro play or in a very high challenger on a competitive region ganking for a flash. That is not high value. Auto attack E reset. Because the fact of the matter is there's three enemy laners. At some point, at least one of the lanes is going to be making a mistake. They're going to be pushed up without vision or pushed up reacting slow. The longer you charge, charge your Q, the more damage it does. It does most damage once it's full charged. Echo might invade me here, honestly. Auto attack E reset should have possibly saved it for my passive. Yeah, that's interesting. Auto attack Q. He three camp cleared into mid. Echo's going heavy for that. We'll go ahead and ghost him down. Auto attack E reset. He can't kill me. I'm on ghost as well, so. I'll push them off the wave. He's probably trying to push it to reset it, but I'm not going to let him. Auto attack down he goes. Auto E. Auto. Vi's auto E auto hits like a bitch because of her W. The third auto attack absolutely chunks. Echo was being greedy and probably, he's probably annoyed because Cassante was being greedy. The wave was pushing to rumble, so they were trying to reset it. But neither one of them had enough HP to match us. You can run Hellblades. Overall, Conquer is better, but for the initial ganks, Hellblades gives more kill potential. Outside of that, multi-target fights, team fights, it's hard to outvalue Conquer, especially with this build since we're going to be super tanky with lots of ability haste. We're going to be able to stack it really, really fast. I'm going to ping out where the Echo is. Let's get a big chunk of Kempunk Chainsword here. I'm going to flex mainly into the damage parts of it. We don't need the Ruby Crystal. It's not going to help our ganks. Not a single one of Vi's abilities does more damage the more HP you have. I'm not familiar with the rumble Cassante matchup. I don't know how that's going to go. Cassante has a grasp against his arcane comment. Neither one of those keystones are much of a flex. It's not like when you see a conquer or a lethal tempo where you, you know they're going to have a huge edge. I'll attack E reset. I'll go bot. They haven't actually backed yet, so they only have the starting items, making them pretty vulnerable. I'm surprised this is up. Echo didn't rush it down. He must have continued into his full clear and assume I took both. He's probably over there now. There's nothing to gank bot. He must have reset to spend their gold. Wow. He must have stayed in base for something. I'll attack E reset. He lost his raptors there and a huge chunk of HP. His bot lane could be right here, so I have to path away from that. Could definitely take dragon. I wouldn't recommend taking dragons too early because you can end up delaying your level six. Plus, if the enemy jungler shows up, you can die. Since we know Echo's giga low, it's worth it. 
auto attack e reset i'm gonna hold on to q as an escape or an engage tool you always max your q first because per level it gets an insane amount of damage super spicy ability cooldown gets lower as well per level only did that once again since i knew where their laners were plus echo was pretty much dead he had no way to contest plus i'm fed might as well take it ghost is better than flash on by especially for team fights or multi-target fights kills and assists extend it and on top of that when you're charging your q and you're on ghost you're moving faster than they are because your q slows you by 15 percent so having a 30 percent speed up overshadows that 15 percent slow on top of that ghost gets even faster than that it gets up to 48 percent based on your level Apologies in advance, some allergies there. Ping out the Lissandra. Boxing her in with my pings, now she's too scared to roam. Rumble has a gold advantage. We could reset here, but since my R is up, we might wait for him and gank this. We we'll use oracles right as we're passing brush, so the back end of it still hits the bush, so we can push it out farther. Doesn't seem to be awarded. I don't know where Echo is, so I can't really take this fight. If I jump in and Echo's not there, that could go really, really bad. Cassante's level 5, my R's up. I could gank bot here. They probably wouldn't expect it either since they had, didn't really see me coming this way. Like, they saw me towards mid. They're not going to expect me to just sprint past it and go for the bot gank. I'm only doing it since my R's up. Only reason. Because I had already finished my clear. You generally want to lead in with your R since you can't miss it. I'm going to lead him with autos. Auto attack, E reset. Then I'm going to R, Q him into him. Auto attack, E reset. Down he goes. After R, I should have woven in an auto attack before the Q. That was my mistake. Panicked there a little bit. Didn't want him to dash away too soon. So your R sees them for a while. To where... So we walked in since we we're behind him. We had the pressure to land autos. When we could no longer reach him with our autos and we had to use R. At the end of it, I should have auto attack into Q, then auto E reset. That would have been even more optimal. Because your Q is like a little Alstar head, but you can push them where you want to push them. And by pushing him into my teammates after the R, it pretty much secures the kill. That's what makes Vi gank so scary. There's not a lot of outplay potential. If she comes up behind you. She can pressure you with just her auto attacks. If you do somehow manage to start getting away, she pops you with R. Auto Q, auto E, and you get blasted. Auto E, auto Q. Gonna play for Drag Soul. Vi is not a split pusher. She generally isn't gonna be able to solo things like Fiora, Trindamir, Jax, uh, Nasus. She's a team fighter. <laughs> so don't. Uh, don't buy things like Hole Breaker and play to split push. You want dragons. Auto attack E reset. Dragons up in 1 minute 46. So I have time to take Harold. It would actually be really good if I could take it. Then when I go for dragon, Echo can't counter take Harold as a reaction. That's generally what junglers will do when they know that they can't fight you on it. They'll go take the Herald, which. I mean, it's still better to get dragons over heralds because dragons are overloaded these days and heralds are over nerfed. But uh, still, I'd rather him not have a proper counterplay. They're starting to fall behind in kills. Ezreal's up in CS. Lissandra's tied in CS. The biggest difference on the map right now is how fed we are on top of mine and Rumble CS lead. I kind of need to reset here. My mid lane has Pryo, so I'll go for it. They have Scuttle. It can't see into the pit, though, so they don't even know I'm in here unless they have it warded. A lot of the times when they take the Scuttle, it's the best time for you to take Herald because they won't even check it or ward it, and you come in through the back of the pit with a Keel or with Blast Cone. Auto attack E reset. Sandra's kind of low. Dragon's up in 30. You don't typically want to back any later than 30 seconds if you want to get to Dragon on time. And we have this, so... Dragon is the key. Can punk chain sword against their team. It's definitely a Merc Tread type of game. If they have hard point click CC, 
the Lissandra Arza stun, then she has a snare, she has a slow, Lulu Polymorph, Lulu slow, Echo stun, Echo slow. They have so many things we get to interact with, plus Lulu's AP, Sandra's AP, Echo's AP, and Ezreal has some magic damage in his kit as well. So they're kind of three and a half AP. That was kind of interesting. I, I'm going to run him down here. He's probably going to R away. Auto attack E reset. Auto attack QR. Down he goes. Auto attack E. I'm going to Q away to dodge her Q. I'm on ghost extensions by running the Ezreal. That wasn't worth going for that. Even if we did get e Echo Flash, which is obviously longer cooldown than Ghost is a summoner spell, it's still not worth it. And the only... <sighs> yeah, that sucks. Just no rotation, man. I don't know where Zed was. I guess Zed was dead. And Kaisa didn't rotate. If Kaisa rotates, I might actually live there potentially. Their bot lane did a good job of collapsing. Okay, it's time for Radiant Virtue. Make us super, super tanky. Echo still shouldn't be full item. Ezreal hasn't spent the shutdown gold he got off of me yet. These guys aren't that strong yet. They need to reset. And if they had reset, they weren't going to be able to get to Dragon in time. It's good news for us. I already have a control ward laid. I don't want to lay another one. Zed is trying to pull out the Dragon. Not very successful at it, though. These guys are shoved up. I got to go for Lulu because I don't have R unless I can get my autos on Ezreal. Spide him for the slow. Auto. Ooh. Auto E reset. We need to kill him because he has the red buff as well. He got in the bush, making it kind of hard for me to get on him there. I didn't want to risk missing my Q. I'm going to dash away. This isn't worth fighting for. I have Herald. They might try to take Dragon, so I should take these real quick. They can't heal up. Oh, wait. He has Rocket Bell. Huh. I'm going to lay this to get some plates. They might get that Dragon. It is what it is. I got to trade off with some gold here. It is what it is. I don't think we could have fought for this. They had too much of an HP advantage. We get some plate gold, Lulu flash. I'll attack E reset. Oh, I might die here. I Q away. Ooh, that was really close. That actually turned out really well, all things considered though. We get a bunch of plate gold. They missed two or three minion waves. And we get two kills and a flash out of it, three kills. I'd say that's worth... Uh, as long as Kaisa doesn't die, she's about to run into Echo R. Okay, that's worth. That's so worth. Four kills, plus plates, plus they lose minion waves. All of that for a dragon. As long as we don't all die for no reason, we should be able to win the next upcoming dragon fights back to back consistently. Ezreal is trying to snipe someone. Auto attack E reset. Auto attack Q. Auto attack E reset. Pretty far away from Radiant Virtue. I'm not getting kills anymore. I got kills initially in the game. Now I have all assists. Kais is down CS. Cassante's caught up in CS. He used to be down quite a bit. That being said, he hasn't gotten the shutdown yet on Rumble. My R is coming up. I want to stay on the map. I don't know if I mentioned this or if it needs mentioning, but Vi R is unstoppable. So no matter what they're throwing at you, if you press R, they can't cancel it. The only way they can cancel it is if they use Zhonya's, in which case your R goes on full cooldown, and then you're going to cry. It'd be very sad. <laughs> Zhonya's is the best counter to a Vi R. Even if they dash or anything, it sticks to them like glue. Super glue. Why, why'd she stop chasing the scuttle? What in the world? Should be able to solo echo. Auto attack E reset. Auto attack E. I don't want him to get this. I don't want to say Ezreal's blue buff reliant. But, uh. 
I'd rather him not get it if we can stop it. Auto attack Q, auto attack E. Oh no, Rumble's getting stutter stepped. Oh wow, Rumble didn't get on the blast gun for some reason. <laughs> I don't. Did Echo flash there? <clears throat> I don't know. He did a good job of getting away from us though. Getting close to Radiant Virtue all back once I can afford it. He should have finished it since I had Oracles on so I could prowl more of the map there. Hey, Lulu. Alright, with Smite. Q, Auto, E, reset. I'm gonna... Ooh, I ghosted, but... Maybe not worth. Auto attack, E, reset. I'm still on my ghost extensions. He was trying to R back, so I'm gonna walk off the path of that. Still on my ghost extensions. Oof, those fruits are juicy, man. I assume this area is awarded. Oh no, they got uh, Rumble shut down there. That's not good. I can back and get my Radiant Virtue. Exactly what I'm going to do. I don't really even have to try to use my passive shield against monster camps. Because I have my green jungle item finished. So every time I kill monster camp, it refreshes fully. Or after like 10 or 15 seconds, you get it back. As long as you're not taking damage. I think they might get uh, Bounty shut down if they get that. I'm resetting with R. Makes me feel sad. Nothing to do bot. I only have one teammate there. Nothing to do mid, really. No one's showing. Dragon fight's about to happen as well, so we need the Radiant Virtue. The people going to be doing the most damage on their team, I think, is Echo. Echo's a bit overloaded these days. And then the Ezreal. I don't think Cassante, Lulu, the Sandra are going to be doing much. Ideally, we hold Ezreal still so he doesn't shred with his Trinity. Ezreal to the Echo. I'm going to Q into that. Got the R. Down she goes. Cassante is over here. Got the Q. Auto attack E reset. Down he goes. A lot of people forget, Vi W, max health damage, just doing 6% max health damage right now. Every third auto attack on the same target, kind of nasty, plus 20% armor shred and attack speed bonus. Does many different things. It doesn't cost any mana. It's time for dragon after this. That was nice of Rumble to help with that. Lay Harold for this. We still have Harold for a while though. I'll let him have the minions. He's letting me have everything else. Radiant Virtue. It's already healed 350 for my teammates. Cool. I like that. The ability haste. I think it only goes to your teammates. While transcended, you and your allies. Oh, so I even get the ability haste. I didn't realize that. That is a broken. Holy crap. Me and my allies get ability haste. Got it. Lissandra's a little out of position. I have my R to heal myself here as well. We all know what's happening here. This is a weird fight. I'm out. I kind of wasted the Rakan R there. I wasn't expecting their whole team to be stacked, though. I thought it was just two or three. Rakan wants the back, so the team needs to chill while Rakan's in base. No reason to force a bad fight with the player missing. Should get that red buff. I'll attack Q. Oh, she's taking my Raptors as well. That feels bad. Oh boy, oh boy. She, does, she doesn't have red buff now, so she's not even gonna be able to slow these guys. Something going on top side here. Oh, this is warded. Let's see if we can, ooh, another ward. Auto E. Is there anything else over here? Oh, that's not good. 
Auto attack. Ooh. Get my R on it. We need to finish that kill. Got outside of that. Auto attack into... Couldn't get it. She flashed away. I'm taking the turret right now. Ooh. Take so many shots. Radiant Virtue's healing like crazy. I'll attack E reset. Let's keep the Herald alive. I'll attack E reset. Got on with my smite. I'll attack E reset. Ooh, he's going back in. And we're not going to be able to kill him. I'm too low. The bad thing is, Echo, I think, might have gotten one or two shutdowns there. Super unfortunate. They know we're over here now. I gotta hurry. Doesn't look like Lissandra's actually coming, though. Nice. Wow, I was gonna take that a little butthole. <laughs> he just took it. Can we afford Black Cleaver now? I think it's 2,800 gold item? Oh, no, it's 3,100. When did that happen? I gotta grab this wave now. Healing back super fast off the red buff. About 50 health per second. All right, we can afford Cleaver off that. Minion's OP. Definitely can just keep playing for dragons. Extra healing and shielding and tenacity is huge versus their team. They have so much CC. Plus, me and Rakan can heal and shield. So, Rumble can shield as well. Kaisa has shield on her R. We're going to have 20. So, we have 20 ability haste from Radiant Virtue, right? Plus, whenever we are for the next... Nine seconds, we get health plus another 20 ability haste. So 40 ability haste, 25 ability haste, 30 ability haste. So 70. We have 95 ability haste when we're on R, not including. Why do we have more than that? Oh, because we have 90 ability haste from Hextech Drag. All right, sick. Still 280. I'm happy with that. Con should break that. I don't know why he's just standing there. What is he doing? I guess he didn't see it. He must have tabbed out. <laughs> Walking right past it. We'll grab mid. Then uh, we can look for dragon. Even with echo scaling, I don't think they're going to outscale. We have drag advantage. Oh, what is this? Trying to find a pick onto their Lulu, huh? I don't need those minions. 9% max health damage. Mama Mia. It's <laughs> a lot of damage. Oh, man. Xante doesn't stand a chance here. I hit him with my Q. Echo went back. I might actually be able to catch up to him. Zed gets the kill. If you can force Echo to R before he gets a kill, it messes him up really bad. Really, really bad. It's hard for him to get value when uh, his abilities are on cooldown. I'll attack e reset, get our smite in. Should be able to get Baron off that. Kaisa triple two and a half item shred. I can shred Baron as well. Max health damage plus shield myself. Guess there's three of them top here. Wait. What are you doing, Lulu? I'll attack E reset. I'll attack E reset. Down goes the Lulu. I'm on double ghost extension here. You're dead, my friend. And I'll, I'll attack QE. Down she goes. And we get some big juicy healing. We filled our allies for 2,000. Am I Soraka? Am I secretly playing the Raka here? So no, 1,700 healing for our allies and then nearly 900 healing for ourselves. Holy moly. Kaisa's items done only 1,300 damage. My items healed my allies alone more than her item has done damage. And she's like, pretty fed too, doing lots... Gotta go around this wall. Hey, friend. Oh, <laughs> okay. 
I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> His little short hop dash, interesting. Run! My art is up here. Auto attack, E reset. Smack that for the hill. Auto attack, E reset. Auto attack, E reset. Hey, Lulu. They have a turret there. I don't want to die. 17 mana back per second. It's good to be a jungler with the jungle item. Basically never run out of mana no matter how much... No matter how many abilities we spam out. I don't actually have a... I don't actually have smite. That that could have been so bad if he'd actually gotten that. <laughs> he went mid. Holy crap. Yeah, I literally didn't have smite for that. He probably gets away here. He has Lich Bane movement speed. Oh, he's a goner. Feels bad for him. Nice try, Kaisa. Not. <laughs> Trying to take my raptors. Let's see how it is. Three top. Two dead. Three wolves for me. Auto E reset. Got free Cassante kill up here. Double armor, double HP. It's got a bit of magic resist. I have the armor shred on W plus cleaver. Auto E reset. Look at his health already, dude. He hasn't even got my shield. I have Conquer as well. Look at look at my shield, dude. Look at my shield. Went through her R with good timing. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> he had Flash and the Lulu speed up. Darn. I couldn't get away from that. Otherwise, Ghost Extensions definitely get me out of there. Meanwhile... A getting them camps. Let's go, team. This next dragon determines the game. If we don't get it, they could stall it out for a little bit, especially with them getting a thousand gold off of killing me once there. But if we get this dragon stole, no matter how much we die. Like, what in the world was that? <laughs> she jumped in 1v4 in their base. At this point, it's pretty much all situational. If you need armor, go Thornmill. If you need magic resist, go Ma. My team's throwing, though. Why? Run, my children. Could go Sterics. I prefer to get something with ability haste, though, like Death's Dance or Shoujun. Shoujun Vi is pretty solid with how much uh, ability haste it gives. 20 ability haste base plus even more ability haste off the Dragon Force on top of giving you extra movement speed based on your missing health. It's a sick item. I haven't seen anyone go Sterics in a while. It doesn't give enough stats there's only health and ad which is kind of poop how much items give these days generally items give three stats and one of them is typically ability haste said going in way too deep he gets the kill though good for him <clears throat> solid echo just spawned he's not gonna be able to get out here in time auto attack e reset auto attack q reset auto e Auto E. And there we go. Now we take 10% less damage and deal 10% more when we're below half health. Which is solid because we have shields to stay alive. It's going to be hard for them to finish us off between the shields and 10%. Auto Q. Auto E. Down you go. Can perma spam, man. 3,500 healing for allies and 1,600 healing for myself. That is nasty. Kaisa's item's done less than 2,000 damage. My item is healed twice as much as Kaisa's damage has done damage. Twice as much as her item's been able to do. Auto attack E reset. I went too deep. I was taking so much damage there. 
from uh, Ezreal. He's just as fed as I am in terms of items. 900 from Lissandra, 700 from the turret. That was a fun game though, man. I really do like Radiant Virtue. It's super overloaded right now. It's kind of like the new Jack show for bruisers. So got damage dealt, damage taken. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we had one of the higher amounts in the game, more than anyone on the enemy team. Kaisa and Rumble both did more than us, but not by an insane amount, which is impressive because we had Radiant Virtue. Just goes to show with the extra abilities it gives on your R, you only sacrifice so much damage output. And for damage taken, we took the most on our team, not quite the most in the game. For self mitigated though, I have a feeling we're going to be far and above. Yeah, 61,000 for self mitigated. That's a massive delta. If you count self mitigated, we easily took the most damage in the game through our big old passive shields plus green jungle item. For runes, really high value. Once again, if you want to make sure your early ganks lead to kills, you would be better off going for Hell of Blades. But overall, for team fight, Radiant Virtue style, Conquer is better. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.